Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my houseplant haul. So if you follow my blog or me on Instagram, you'll know that I do a lot of gardening. Um, I love succulents, I love my houseplants, I love any flowers. Um, it's just so relaxing, so therapeutic, and it's beautiful and so uh, happy to see when plants are growing and thriving. So these are rel relatively new. I got a lot of them online so I'll list the plant websites that I got them from down below majority of them came from Melbourne and Brisbane um, and then some I bought in person as well so I'm gonna start off with my Calatheas first so if you are a houseplant lover you know Calatheas are quite tricky um, I, this is my second white fusion Calathea that I'm going to show you. My first one I got from Flower Power. It wasn't very healthy. Um, it was quite brown and not really good looking when I bought it. Uh, but that was the only one they had left. So I got it and it's growing slowly. One of my main tips for Calathea growth is using a humidifier or a diffuser. This is a spare one that I have just in case. I did have one from Kmart. It was my favourite diffuser ever. Um, that accidentally broke because I used it so many times. Um, so at the moment in my little growing plant area room I've got this one set up and I'll show you in a clip. I'll insert it somewhere of this working on the plants. So this just helps keep the humidity at a really good level for the plants. Uh, the white fusion that I got from a online shop called Plants by Wendy, this arrived beautifully. But now it has new fresh healthy growth and I'm so happy because I was so upset with the one from Flower Power as it just sort of died. And I put a plastic bag around it, I use it if you use it quite a bit, I missed it when I can. Um, I keep it in a nice well lit room but it's not near the sun so hopefully that will be growing soon. So with this little cutie, I've got a few little pebbles up here. I do have more, but I took some of them out because I didn't want them falling. Um, this is a terracotta pot from Ikea with this little saucer with it. Um, this has absolutely blossomed and I'm just so, so happy with it. Um, there's a lot of new leaves producing upwards. I'll insert a proper video clip so you can see, but this is my little baby even though I've had lots of tears with the Calathea because I don't want them to die. So the next Calathea that I'm going to show you is a Peacock Calathea. This one I got from a shop in Melbourne called Door to Door Plants. This is so stunning. I've got it in a little Eden uh, terracotta self-watering pot. These are from Bunnings. Um, so the leaves on this are absolutely stunning. I love with every single different Calathea you get that there's... A different variation of leaves. This one is a nice sort of mini compact one which I love um, and she's just been thriving really really well. In the morning she goes sort of limp but in the afternoon night time she springs up. So I think that's a common trend with Calatheas because I've got the Calathea the Marky Burr one or I'm not pronouncing it right but that one does the exact same thing. So same deal with this one. I do have a water meter that I use to check it as well. Um, so it checks the moisture in the soil, the light, if it's getting enough or not too much. Um, and it checks the pH balance as well. I will include a snippet of how I do that as well in the video somewhere. So that's the Calathea peacock plant. The next one that I'm going to show you is the Calathea or Fiblia. Uh, this one is pretty new in my collection. I got this from a shop called Plant It Up. Um, I got a few different plants from them and they gave me a free uh, plant which is thriving really, really well. So the Ophibolia is very, very stunning. I saw this all over Pinterest. I've had it on my Pinterest board for months and when I found it, because I was looking for it, all different shops online that I have bought from and when I found it I was like yep I've got to pick it up. The leaf on this is absolutely stunning. It's just such a beautiful beautiful leaf. Um, same deal with the peacock plant. She's just in the Eden self-watering pot. I test their soil every three days with my water meter and it's just my normal uh, potty mix soil that I've used for these plants. 
Alrighty, so they are the Calatheas. I do have a lot more Calatheas, but I just can't fit them all in. So they're my three favourite Calatheas. The next plants that I'm going to show you are my Ivy plants. So from Plant It Up, I got this beautiful variegated Ivy. I've never ever seen this before. It has a stunning purple uh, stem. It's got beautiful green and cream leaves. This is just seriously beautiful. I loved it when I saw it online and I just had to pick it up because it's such a unique looking ivy. Um, so I've got it in just a self, uh, a watering terracotta sort of glazed pot. It's not really terracotta, it's just a glazed pot with rust and white on it. And I got these from Bunnings and I really, really like them. There's a little self-draining hole as well. So um, I keep her in a well-lit area but not close to the sun. Um, and she's been actually growing a few new sprouts as well. So I've been loving this one from Plant It Up. I'm just going to go and grab my other ivy because it's on the other side of my table. And then I will conclude with my plant haul. Alrighty, so this ivy plant is the Ivy Hendra. I got this in store at Bunnings. This is absolutely gorgeous. I think my mum actually already had one of these, but I wanted one for my little plant collection that I've got going on in our back room. So the main reason why I wanted one of these is I love its trailing vine. I also love that the leaves are very autumnal. So autumn has to be my favourite season and these leaves just remind me of autumn, but they're cream and they're green and little flecks of white. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely love this so, so much. I did the same thing. I uh, missed it. I test its water with my water meter and this is just a beautiful little stunner. Alrighty, the next plant that I'm gonna show you is one that I've had for over a year now. I actually bought it from Ikea. Um, it's a ficus rubber plant. Um, I think it's the tinnicky, but I think it might be a bit of the other one because it's got a lot of burgundy in it. My tinnicky one that's near our front door has a lot more green and cream in it. This has flourished really well. I just whacked it in an Ikea pot and it's grown heaps. Um, there's a lot of new leaf production starting. I'm loving the burgundy red cream and green with this plant. Um, I give her a good soak once or twice a week depending on if it's been hot or if it's been raining or whatever in Sydney and this is just my absolute favorite I'm so happy with how big she's grown because she was a tiny little thing and now she's just so big and blossoming really well alrighty so this plant baby is my piperoma moonlight I got this uh, when I was out with some church friends in Bunnings and it is my little baby. This is my bedroom plant baby. So this one has a beautiful silver tinged leaf. It's got beautiful flowering growth on it. Um, I keep it in the same soil as my other plants. Um, I do a water measure check and I give her a nice soak once to twice a week depending how dry she gets. She's situated in my room which has light bright light but it's not heavy for light um, so she's just in a glazed pot this was from Bunnings on sale and I just love this plant so so much I want to get a few more paper romans because I just love the leaf variation on them but this one's my little baby cutie Alrighty, so the last plant that I'm going to show you is another piperoma. This one's the Red Luna. So I got this from Door to Door Plants. It is a stunning eggplant purpley black leaf. Um, I like the little ripples on this leaf. It's really different to the more thicker leaf on the Moonlight piperoma. Um, I've just got it in a little pot from Flower Power with that same colour theme I have going on at the moment. Um, and I give her water when she gets dry so I always check them before I water them and I water them with distilled water so I get the big uh, five litre bottles from Bunnings and I've just been watering with that because I read up before I started my houseplant obsession um, do not use the water from the sink because the chlorine and it hasn't been raining much in Sydney which is a shame so I haven't been able to get any rainwater in our buckets. 
but nonetheless they've been getting a good water with the distilled water so yeah uh, if you have any favorite house plants that are easy to grow please let me know in the comments down below I will link my blog post on these beautiful plants down below as well uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you stay safe during this time that's going on in the world